From social media to streaming movies, we use our cell phones for basically everything, so it can be hard to go a whole day without your phone dying on you. Tech expert Vincent Hobbs is here with tips and tricks for reducing the dreaded drain when it comes to our cell phone batteries. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, no problem. All Glad right, so what here. are some of the biggest offenders when it comes to our cell phone battery and, and things draining? Sure, so the number one offender um, of battery drain would be your screen display, the actual display. Okay. And the easiest way to extend your battery life is just to pull down your display menu on the uh, Android phone here and slide your... Oh, to make the screen actually darker. So Correct. we're talking about brightness. Right. Okay. Because so, the brighter it is, the more battery power it's using. Correct. Okay. Correct. And then on the uh, iPhone, it's mm -hmm. at the bottom. You swipe up. Okay. So just mess with and that. And toggle that. Yeah. I always have mine on at night, so it goes to night mode. Is that saving the energy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because that the, <laughs> the least, uh, the less amount of brightness, the better your battery life is. Okay. Be. Let's talk about apps because they often are running, <laughs> and we don't even know that they're still running in the background and updating. How can right. we mess with that? So the easiest way on the iPhone, um, go to your settings, mm -hmm. down to app refresh here somewhere. An app refresh is when it's just constantly updating by itself right. or what is the it doing? The background app refresh, so all of the applications that you have that draw information from the web, your email that syncs, um, your Facebook, mm -hmm. any of your social media, they're constantly updating so that you have the latest information. Oh. All of your news apps, they're constantly pulling and that's draining your battery because it's reaching out to pull information in. Okay, so, if so you, do we turn that off? You can toggle that unless you're, or you can select a specific app where I only want these five apps to automatically update as okay. opposed to everything all 50 on your, apps that, that you probably use phone. five of. Right. right. <laughs> all right. What other tips do you have for us? Uh, make sure that your software is updated. The Apple phones do a great job of letting you know. They usually pop up a notification that says you have an update available. Right. Those updates correct a lot of issues with apps and with the system that will drain the battery more rapidly. So okay. make sure those are updated. Does Android do the same thing, tell you when you need to update? Some of the newer phones do that. Okay. Some of the older phones, you have to actually go in and do it manually. Okay. So just make sure you are updating. Mm -hmm. um, what about our iPads and things like this? So it runs the same operating system as the iPhone. Okay. So all of the options to select and deselect are going to be the same on the iPads. The good thing about the iPads or tablets, the batteries are a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. So typically you can get a lot more use out of them before you have to charge them up again. And you say to turn on reduce motion. What is that? So reduce motion is that's going to be iPhone specific. The phone, when you tilt it and move it, your icons will adjust themselves so that oh. you can always see them better. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a setting in there as well um, where you can just toggle that. Okay. And it will stop that from happening and save a little bit of battery life. I love all these tips and tricks. Vincent, thanks yeah. so much for being here today. Yeah, no problem.